I, I feel that we were just meant for one another. Every marriage has its milestones, and this Charlotte couple is celebrating a century's worth of memories. Recently, Daniel and Willie Williams celebrated their 100th and 98th birthdays, respectively, not to mention they've been married for more than 75 years. Spectrum News reporter Kirsten Garris has their story. We've had a very good marriage. For some, love is just a word, but for Daniel and Willie Williams, it's to find how they've lived their lives. I feel that we were just a destined to to be together. The two met as teenagers in Newberry, South Carolina. He was my first boyfriend. <laughs> and after I met him, I said, we got along together nicely and I felt like he would make me a good husband. They got married on August 17, 1937 and moved to Charlotte a few years later. But when they vowed to stand by each other's side for better or for worse, Daniel says he never dreamed it would be for 79 years. I didn't think we would be there. That long because a lot of my friends didn't live to get the age we are. Where we are. So I feel fortunate. Recently, the two celebrated another milestone. Daniel just turned 100 and Willie's 98. Daniel says it's their faith that's helped him get to this point. That's why we live as long as we live in the way. And uh, I, I feel that we, we've been blessed. Like any marriage, it hasn't been perfect, but it's come pretty close. We had some, some strong words once upon a time, but... <laughs> in the few disagreements they did have... He would go to the store and I'd say, take a list, I don't need no list. <laughs> when he got back, he beat him, forgot something. Then I'd say, see, I told you to take a list. Looking back at all those years, she still loves his good nature, and he still loves her cooking. Together, the secret to their successful life and marriage is simple. If you want to be treated good, you want somebody else to treat you good, you do good by them. A lesson in love and living a full life. In West Charlotte, Kirsten Garris, <laughs> Spectrum News.